that continues for an armed man suspected of killing two people, wounding three others, while robbing several 7-Eleven stores across three Southern California counties. So here are the stores that were, have been hit or where an employee or a shopper was killed, injured, or robbed. Ontario, then Upland, Riverside, and later Santa Ana, Brea, and La Habra. Haley Winslow, she's been on the story for us today. She joined us now live from Brea with the latest on the search. Haley. Yes, innocent lives lost, families that will never be the same. Here in Brea, this 7-Eleven, a growing memorial for 7-Eleven clerk Matt Hirsch, preparing to finally pursue his dreams. His friends say, we lost an angel here on earth. He touched so many lives. And Matthew was like the son I never had. 40-year-old Matthew Hirsch, known as the caretaker among his family and friends, at the 7-Eleven where he lost his life, shock disbelief, sadness. He might have been the shortest guy in the room, but he was always goofy, always. Yeah. And if he knew that you needed an extra push or an extra text every morning or something, he would always, always reach out. Poor, poor baby boy, you know, he was a little guy. He was my small fry. I always called him small fry, you know, because he loved McDonald's fries. Hirsch dated Barbara Marquez's daughter. They broke up about seven years ago. And he met Kristen, and I was so happy he had somebody. It's just senseless. It doesn't make any sense at all. Investigators confirm this is the suspect responsible for at least five of the six 7-Elevens hit. He's described as 5'10", about 160 pounds, Monday night wearing a dark hoodie and what looks like a gator hiding most of his face. The murderous crime spree started just after the clock strikes midnight on July 11th, or 7-Eleven. First, North Vine in Ontario. 40 minutes later, another armed robbery at a 7-Eleven in Upland. No one was hurt at the first two locations. Then, just before 2 a.m., La Sierra Avenue in Riverside. Police now say the same robber shoots a customer in the head and leaves him fighting for his life. This is a dangerous killer out there right now, and uh, the focus is to find him, identify him, find him, and apprehend him. Um, while these investigations are still taking place, but we need to get this guy off the streets. But police can't catch him, and the violent spree continues. 3.23 a.m., Santa Ana. Police find 24-year-old Matthew Rule's body in the 7-Eleven parking lot on East 17th. Investigators say the store was closed, so the gunman robbed Rule and then killed the customer. Less than an hour later, he strikes again, this time here in Brea, killing store clerk Matthew Hirsch. And just before 5 a.m. in La Habra, the robber shoots a clerk and another man. Both of them are expected to survive. Lives lost, others injured, loved ones distraught, all in exchange for some quick cash. This gun violence really has to stop. They could have the money, but don't hurt my baby. You know, don't hurt Matthew. He was such a good person, you know? This is going on too long, you know, too much. I don't know what we could do to stop this. He's a beautiful person. The Lord has another angel in heaven. Though nothing will bring back the lives lost, investigators fear it is only a matter of time before he hurts or kills someone else. If you have any information about who this suspect is, please call police right away. Reporting live in Brea, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.